Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode number 59 of Football Manager. And today, we begin the league season. We've got Curzon Ashton away, and then Boston United also away. Um, so yeah, well, league season begins. Let's get going right away. Um, it's Hopefully we can have a good season this year. And if we can get promoted that would be great if about the playoffs is our main goal and now we got a chance to bring in plumber defender i i think this is what i think this is what we want to do yes we we need we need a good defender good potentially one of the best players at the club Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, he's not very happy. Hopefully, we can turn that around. But I'm liking that. I'm liking that very much. But yeah, he'll start. Let's go and beat Curzon Ashton. Oh, the games are within, what's that, three days of each other. Hopefully, we don't get too tired. All right, we're going into the first game of the season. It's Curzon Ashton. We've beaten them once. Um, I can't remember what happened last time we played them. But yeah, Carver can't play. Who do we start up top? Ice. Let's let's, let's try this. Um, yeah, let's let's try that. We can't have two. Um, we can't have two. What are them called? Two poachers, that doesn't really work. Carver can't start. Get on the bench. Green or Dini off? I think Dini off. Risco. Plummer starts. Jeffries or Jones to come out? Jones, that has got that much stars. Jeffries has also got that much stars. Plummer has got much more stars than them. He's he's used to playing... No? What about that? Uh, he's more used to playing cover. Alright, sorry, Jeffries. But maybe... Oh, I'm... Maybe he'll be more like... Less likely to... Um... Leave if we, um... Change that to... No, oh, no, I think... Is, is Plummer fast? He's decently fast. We'll chuck him at cover. But yeah, um, what I was saying, I, th I think we're going to play Jeffries because Bromley put in an offer for him and I'm kind of thinking he'll be less likely to leave if he's getting some first-team football. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm not going to go higher tempo. What are we going to do? We'll go more direct. We'll, we'll look for the overlap, actually. Connor York and Briggs. I mean, Connor York... Oh, they actually can kind of play fullbacks. Let's go. Let's go. Fullback. Come on. It's, it's time to play well this season. It's time to get the wins. We'll play on standard. Will O'Hanlon start? Who else? We got Paul Green. I think it's got to be Paul Green. I mean, he's that star. I mean, he's not very good. Current ability. Last season, I swear he was much better. O'Hanlon is better than him. Oh, I don't know. I think we'll start Paul Green just because he's the captain, the main man. Got to stay in the side. O'Hanlon's not as match sharp as him. Um, he'll play central midfielder defend, or will he play support? Uh, support. Let's make it support. Cox is on the support duty. I hope this will go well. Wooten's meant to only play 60 minutes. He's P ability's gone down by one star already. I, this this just this isn't going to go well, is it? Um, but yeah, um, he's not meant to play a full game, so we've got Stike on the bench in uh, to bring on if that happens. And yeah, a lot of people I know are lacking in match sharpness, probably because it's the first game of the season. But anyway, let's go. Let's get the win. Uh, we're playing our new formation, and one thing I will note. Alex Samizade, who we were looking to bring in. Um, we've got more of that crap for work permits blocking him. I didn't think he'd need one because he's played in England before and 
I get, but I guess not. The FA are being pain in the backsides. They rejected him because he hasn't played enough games for his country recently. Oh, well, I appealed it. I hope we win the appeal. Otherwise, I don't know what I'll do. I might go and look for another striker. I mean, we are currently in for another defender. We've got a lot of room left in the wage. I think it's about 1,700 or so <clears throat> left in in the wage budget so yeah we've got plenty of room left and what should we say um let's give the fans a performance they're expecting from us uh, we never seem to be able to fire any of them up it's a bit loud let's turn it down they've got a new look side or we recognize birdie from last season of course See how Connor York plays. Well, that's not the greatest of starts for Connor, but Paul Green is there to win it back. All right. Free kick for them. Ayamu, away by James White, but whoever that is, probably Wooten, too lazy to get there. He's right on the ball. He goes to Sterling, to Hunt. He spreads the ball. Here's Hughes putting the cross in. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. It's out for a corner. Goodness me. That was almost 1-0 Curzon Ashton. We're away from home. Maybe we should go a bit more defensive. Go on to counter. Is that get, it's managed to get in. They've hit the crossbar again. Oh my goodness. Watkins is on the ball now. Looking for Curry. What can Mitch Curry do? He's got some decent amount of space here. And he's got a decent amount of pace as well. And he's won us a free kick. I think we're going to go to counter. That first is highlights not looking good. And now we have the ball. It's Curry who receives it. Goes back to Briggs. Briggs crosses in. Paul Green just hits the side netting. Of all people, Paul Green almost getting uh, our first goal of the season there. Free kick for them now. And they're playing it short. Sterling closed down by Plummer and Hunt. The, I think he's probably a centre back. His shot was tame and Belshaw does well fortunate there that could have ended badly and it's launched long Kyle Wooten controls well here's White can we look to play in Curry or maybe um Watkins Cox goes back to Plummer Plummer hits it up forward first time Wooten doesn't win in the air unfortunately Green does well here's Cox Cox to Green now here's Watkins what can Jake Watkins do nice from Watkins he gets it away to Green. York is up on the overlap. At least, yeah, that is York. Here's James White. James White's shot is deflected. And somehow that's a goal kick. I swear it took a deflection. Might have been off one of our men. Throw in for us now. And Briggs has pretty much thrown it away. Are we going to get the ball? No, we're not. Right is on it. Sterling hits it forward. Here's Ford Hall. Ward Hall goes back to right. He goes to Brown, who goes to Sterling. Who switches the play, and Connor York well in. Maybe we've been playing him in the wrong position the whole time. Is he the right back we've been needing, and we had the whole time? We didn't even know, but Curry's given away, unfortunately. That's something I don't think Samazade would do, but unfortunately we don't have him yet. And hopefully that is just a yet. As Watkins looks to get in here, he heads it on. That's nicely done from Jake. Wooten holds it up. He goes to James White. He goes to Curry. And that was disappointing. Also something Samazade wouldn't do. All right, highlight here. It's hit forward. Cox is in the way. And here's Wooten. Back to James White, who spreads it wide to Briggs. Matthew Briggs coming inside. I think we've probably wasted Briggs' ability playing him that defensive fullback. I mean, he's a very good fullback, but York's ball is intercepted, unfortunately, there. Bertie goes forward. Plummer looking to get there. He doesn't, but Jeffries is there to mop up, and he looks for Wooten, who heads on. Watkins is after it. He's, he might steal it off Hunt. He does. It deflects. Here he is again on the ball, beating his man. Goes back. Kyle Wooten. He's got no one to play to, so he goes all the way back to Plummer. That's intercepted. Should be Plummer's ball again. But that's the end of the highlight. Wasn't much of a highlight, to be honest. Throw in for them now. Ayamu finds Ford Hall, who we don't recognise from last season, or at least I don't. Sterling shot, well blocked by Paul Green. It's going to be a corner. Three minutes left until half time. And.
end. I think that's... No, it's Ayamu who's going to whip it in. In it goes. Plummer gets it away. Well up by Ellis. White is after that. Sterling gets there. Spreads it back out to Ayamu. Briggs is out there quickly. Closing him down. The shot cannons off James White, I think that was. And out for a throw. Nil-nil at the break. Um, calmly say... Keep going out there and you can still win this one. We, we can never seem to fire up anyone. Oh, at least Jake Watkins is looking delighted, which is good news. Do we, I think we'll bring on Stike at half time. Let's do that. Let's also bring on O'Hanlon. For Green. Actually, Cox is looking a bit more tired. We'll bring him on for Cox. And I think that's all we'll do. Why, why would I have bloody Phillips on the bench. I don't see the point. I should have had another striker. As Watkins comes forward. Stike finds Curry. Can we get something early on? York should be bombing down that side. That's some nice quick passing as Watkins gets the shot off, but unfortunately he can't find the back of the net. Goal kick for us. That not looking to go towards anyone. Curry's trying to make um, a challenge for it. He does well. York ends up with the ball. Here's Paul Green. He finds Connor. Back inside, he's Alex O'Hanlon. Oh, that's cut out. James White is going to get there first. Well done by James. O'Hanlon. Stike. Heads on. Watkins is in. Should score. Great finish from Jake. And what a great way to start the season for our new man. Wells in from Stike with the header on. And that's what we like to see. The target man, Stike. Nodding it on for the poacher. Jake Watkins, and he may only be a two-star player, but he has very good finishing and composure for this um, this level of football, and as such, I was confident in him finishing that chance. Great stuff from Jake, and that's just what we want to see. Hopefully he can have, a, have another great season like he did with Worcester last season, but here we go. We're we're on the ball again. James White inside to Green. Can we get another goal? Paul Green coming forward, finding Curry. Come on, York, bomb down that side. Uh, well, he, he plays it well, to be fair to him. Here's James White, Watkins. Watkins shoots, Hack and Burton holds. That was a decent effort from Watkins, but um, his long shot rating, I think, is only five. Maybe it's eight. Not sure. But they've got a chance now, Ayamu. Our defence has been good. New arrival, Plummer. Has marshaled them very well as Jeffries gets in the way there. It falls for Sterling. The shot's blocked. O'Hanlon getting in the way of that one. Well in from the Irishman and it goes out for a corner. Number 11. I think that's Ayamu. It is. To whip it in. Belshaw does well. Jeffries tried to head that away. I don't know whether he got anything on that. But Belshaw's held on to it nonetheless. He's actually played quite well. 7.3 rating for Jeffries. Well done to him. Free kick for us. Jeffries goes to James White. He's got time and space. Watkins slides in, reach Stike. It's a very good tackle, but Watkins is again on the ball. He doesn't have much of a cross on him, unfortunately. He goes back to Briggs, who does. And Hacken Burton has to tip that over. It wasn't the greatest cross from Briggs. It has some nice shape on it, though. Just a bit too close to the keeper. In the end, we get a, for a, we get a fortunate corner, and O'Hanlon is going to put it in. It's a nice-looking corner. Fallon get something on that and that was a premature end to the highlight what's going on here white standing over the free kick oh it's hit the crossbar i didn't expect much of that and somehow an offside's been given james white so close but now the free kick is in part of the highlight briggs go and win that well up matthew matthew yes matthew of course it's matthew Beaumont, though, is on the ball. He's not got much sharpness at all. Here's Sterling going forward. Murray closed down by Plummer. He has to go back. Sterling to Brown. A one-goal lead is never the most um, safest. I don't, I don't know what... I think I really messed up what I was trying to say there. Great block, though, by Dan Jeffries. He has had a great game. I think my decision to start him has paid off. Plummer and Jeffries, will they be our two defenders this season? As Jeffries wins the header again, and O'Hanlon is after this. 
and we have a chance to break. He goes to Curry. Now, Curry has a decent cross in him. Can he find uh, one of our men in the middle? Well, I thought he had a decent cross in him. Watkins is going to get there, though. He doesn't have a decent cross in him, and he hits it straight against the wall. The wall, the defender. And now, here comes Murray, but Plummer is quickly across, and he's going to get there. Well in, Ellis. Throw in for us, York. Green does well. I mean, it's not the greatest of touches, but there's no one... Oh, Paul, can you... Wow, what, what was that? Paul, seriously, that's going out. Plummer doesn't have to get that. He does. I mean, yeah, oh, that's actually quite good. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, well in, Jeffries. Well in, get it away, get it away. How's it fallen to Sterling? Great tackle by Briggs. Murray, great block by Jeffries. What the hell happened there? I... Oh, I, I don't know. Let's just go defensive. Rather, rather than count fully defensive, not concede this. Played in. Jeffries. Again, it's Dan Jeffries away. Briggs is going out to that. Go on, Briggsy. He blocks the cross. Yeah, I, I've been waiting to make the, our last substitution. I mean, I've got Jimmy Phillips, Dan Smart, and Kyle Socket on the bench. And the only viable sub is Briggs off and... um. Socket on as we getting a break, but I don't want to do that because Briggs has been so good today. As Fallon manages to make the tackle, I think we're just going to chuck Phillips up top. But anyway, there's two minutes over the additional um, two that were meant to be played. But there it is, full time. We get the win. It's Jake Watkins's goal that separates the two sides. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Everyone's happy. Jeffries. Played very well. Happy with your performance today. And Jakey boy, he's already delighted. So yeah, let's just go. I mean, we play better than them on all fronts. So yeah, that's good. We're in seventh place, which is a place... I think that was the highest we got last season. But Solihull Moors top it. Oh, well, they did have Stour Bridge. So understandable, really. Considering how poor Stour Bridge... I think they were predict predicted to finish bottom. They got promoted... Oh, no, that's probably wrong. 2015-16. That is not the season that was... That is not last season. Luke Hastings is their top prospect. He, their key player is Jake Croft. He's a, Oh, he's got quite high marking and positioning, but nothing much. Yeah, Watkins scored on his debut. Well in, Jake. Just what we like to see. But, yeah, if you look here... He's got good pace, he's got good composure and good finishing, which is two important stats. And if he gets the and if he can get those two quite good, he, I reckon he can score a lot of goals, and that's why he was so good with Worcester last season. But yeah, we sit in seventh place now. Hopefully we can oh yeah, let's praise his performance. Superb morale. He could grow into a monster. Hopefully he gets to the top of that black star ability. But yeah, Boston United up next. Hopefully that Samizade work permit crap actually gets accepted because then we will have um, the enough strikers on the bench. Then we'll also be able to swap to wingers with Mitch Curry on the bench as well as Briscoe. Actually, I'm... I think I've confused myself. That's not what I was going to do. Oh! They haven't... Samazar... Oh, is there any point signing him then? Is there any point? Oh, that is so frustrating. Work permits. The most ridiculous... Oh, he, he could be very, very good. I mean, he was very, very good for Chorley, as you can see there. And that's what I'm going off. That is so frustrating. And it's actually incredibly frustrating. But we're not going to go for him. There's no point. There is no point getting him in where we can't play him. Maybe we'll go for Carver or Reese Thompson. I mean... Uh, they, they'll probably be... Oh, 297 season tickets. 
Oh, well, that's actually more than last season by three. Oh, I thought that was less. Anyway, that's good. It's Gloucester beat Leamington. All right, we've got Boston now. They won their first game of the season 2 0. Was it? No, it wasn't Leamington. Uh, it might have been Halifax Town. Is there a way we can tell that there is a book? I, I know there is. It was Halifax. It was Halifax Town. Goals from Willock and Goodship got them the win. But yeah, let's hope that we can stop their run. A win could take us top. It could leave us eighth. Actually, no, it would. Mm. No, we, we would go at least seventh because Boston wouldn't get that same amount of points. But yeah, um, all right. Team. Oh, the fitness is not looking terribly good. Um, we're still waiting on further news of bringing strikers in. O'Hanlon played well. We're going to drop Cox to the bench. Or will we? Cox is actually more fit than O'Hanlon, so we'll keep Cox in the side. O'Hanlon will stick on the bench. We're going to do that, and Jones... Jones? Yeah, Jones is more likely to play than Socket. Um, anything else to do? We can't really change much else yet. Um, more signings are still in the works. So we're going to have to play the match like this. I hope this is enough that we need How Dan Smart. Yeah, Dan Smart's got a good potential. Yeah, that, that's what I did think. But yeah, Wooten will continue to... Or will or will we or will he? Let's let's start Stike. Yeah, let's start Stike. Um, Plummer and Jeffries and and York and Briggs. I see no reason to change that. They played incredibly well. Um, how does O'Hanlon play at centre mid attack? Perfectly fine because he'll probably need to come on in the game for White, who's looking a bit tired. Jones likewise for Jeffries. It would appear, but yeah, I think we'll. As is, actually, we are away from home again. Let's go counter from the start of the game this time. And yes, I know that a lot of people are struggling for match fitness. It's the start of the season. But yeah, um, no sign... Oh, good ship is there. We'll see what he says. He does He does say to go on Willock and good ship, because that's the only thing I was going to do. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, come on, lads, show me what you can do. Um... Uh, I mean, I, th I think that's perfectly alright. Um, what should we say? Defenders. Passionately say. Give me solid defense. Oh, bloody hell, Ellis. Bloody hell. Alright. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. that. That always makes them happy. We've made, we've made a few people happy. But yeah, let's go. Ellis, who hopefully isn't confused anymore. Um, now that he's out on the pitch. Oh, James White. Nice bit of skill there. Here's Stike. Maybe Wooten coming on later in the game will have a better effect. But yeah, hopefully Curry won't be in the side for too much longer. We're working on a deal for Reese Thompson, who you might remember was with us on trial for quite a bit. He's decent. And with um, Wooten and Watkins, if Wooten can find some form then we don't really need st another star striker. I mean, Samazade would have been amazing, but unfortunately the FA don't want us to win, so they didn't let us have him. But yeah, free kick, Fairhurst puts it over by quite a while. And yeah, let's hope we can win against Boston. Throw in for them early on, Collier. Back to Torres, and Torres looks for Fairhurst. But he's dispossessed by Dan Jeffries, but his clearance is not the best. But then he gets back up, and White heads on, and Stike is there. He goes to Curry. Watkins, he's just got to pass it to him. Watkins, Watkins tackled. Better pass. It, better pass. I mean, I think we want our other striker to be decent at passing play, and that's what Thompson is. He's quite well-rounded. He doesn't have the greatest finish, but we've got Watkins for that. And yeah, he's meant he's just meant to um set the goals up really. His Briggs might get in there almost scoring his first goal for Tamworth. At least I think it would have been his first goal. Free kick for them now and it's Willock who puts it in. 
headed away. Collier. Closed down by Green. Here's Torres. Connie York and Green work together to get the ball off him. And here is York. Looking a Stike heads on. Watkins. Jake Watkins. Oh, Hemming. Not very comfortably, but he makes the save. A good shot from Watkins. Unfortunately, couldn't find the net. But now, White is going to whip in this corner. In it goes Jones. No, Jeffries. Jones normally wears that number four, but unfortunately, Jeffries couldn't find the target with that header. That was quite good, though. We can continue to get corners like that. Briggs has taken this one. No, Jimmy Phillips. But Briggs has almost taken his position, and he almost put that free kick in. Throw in for them now. But we should get that, and Cox does well. Can Stike head that on? Yes, he can. Watkins goes to Curry, who often disappoints. Goes back to Plummer. He launches up here. Can Stike win that? No, he can't, but Green is there. Back to Cox. Can, he, can we find James White? He's more likely to find a killer ball than anyone else in the side, I think. And look at that. Briggs does well. Matthew Briggs. Can he get a good cross in? It goes towards Watkins, who's not quite able to get up and head that towards the goal. But we've still got it. York. Watkins controls. Stike. White. James White saved by Hemming. Corner kick. And we're getting all the chances here. And we're going to encourage the lads. Can we find Jeffries' head again? Good ship gets it away, only as far as Watkins, who almost runs into the referee. Puts the cross in, Stike almost got there. Watkins has got space for the shot. Oh, how has that not gone in? It was sitting on the line, and we're so close. Jake Watkins, I'm liking him. He's not a two-star player. He's much more than that. Don't know what they're on about, calling him two stars. He's a... Jeffrey's on a free kick. Still don't know. Still don't know why. Oh, but he's he's a bit tired, which is not good. We've got Jones on the bench, but Jeffries has been so good to start this season. Well, it's been a game and a half, but anyway, Belshaw catches, and they haven't been able to break down our back line, <laughs> which is something that I am very happy to say. Is Curry can't quite get that, and we should get that clear. Well, at least we should, we're on it. Plumber back to Briggs. Curry. Let's it run. He gets there as well. He's got Stike. Stike. Reese Stike powers it in. The keeper hasn't been the most comfortable to, to start this game off. And it's Reese Stike with a powerful effort that gets us into the lead. Curry did well. Oh, they've got some sort of renovations going on back in that stand there. But, um... Curry plays it inside. Stike is there. A powerful shot first time on the right foot. That's a great finish from Stike, and we will take that. It's been a great start to the season. I hope I haven't said that too early. Well, half time arrives. Um. Hmm. Um. I kind of want to say you've been unlucky to not be ahead by more. But yeah, I think we'll say that. I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. A bunch of the lads are motivated. We're all delighted. Stike now delighted as well. But this is where it comes into question. Do we bring on... I think we've got to bring on... Do we bring on both? I think... Oh, Jeffries has been so good. Um, White, I, I think we'll keep it. We'll keep it as is until one of them asks for a substitution. The, the fitness isn't really affecting either of them. At least that's what I've noticed. They haven't been caught out. Jeffries again gets in the way. And we're coming forward. Reese Stike to Jake Watkins. Back to Paul Green. Spreads it. Briggs is there. Across. Stike heads on. What a save. I mean, Hemming hasn't had the greatest game. But he's made an absolute stunner of a save there. Throw in for us now. The ball. Oh, White's got it. He's got turned his man. That's a poor pass. Curry gets the cross in. It might go in at the back stick. It doesn't. York is there again, though. He gets the cross. Watkins! Goal! It doesn't appear to be offside. Watkins has scored. 
sec- second goal of the season for him. I don't believe it. Connor York, I don't know if that was a shot or not, but he's been very good at right back. This has just fallen into place. I thought this was not going to work very well this season, but Connor York, I mean, that's a nice touch, and then he can't really miss. And, I mean, we've, we're 2-0 up. This is, this, is, this is brilliant, and we've got a throw-in behind this as well. Watkins gets the wrong side of his man! But that is a very good block from the number five for Boston United, and he keeps the score at 2-0. Can we get something from the corner? James White to whip it in. In it goes. Plummer couldn't quite rise highest. It comes back out to White, who puts the cross back in. It falls for Sam Cox. That's in. It's 3-0. I don't believe it. Sam Cox with the goal. We're all we're all getting goals today. That, that net has been struck twice in the space of five minutes. White puts this cross back in. It deflects off Capel, I think it was to Cox, and Hemming was wrong-footed, it's a goal, it's 3-0, and Boston United must be completely stunned, we've got the ball again, we're coming forward again, Curry, to Stike, to Watkins, oh, he's dispossessed, I mean, we can't, we can't win them all, Bishop, held up by Cox, and intercepted by Paul Green. But he can't quite get there before right. Here's Fairhurst. Back to Bishop. Cox is hurrying back. Here's right. Good pressure from Connor York. Jeffries is getting there. That's straight at the keeper. And if we limit them to shots only like that, that'll be perfectly fine. Belshaw saves. Comfortable. And I'm liking that. Free kick for them now, though. But that is brought down by White. Oh, that could have been a better clearance. But we win the ball in the air again. Bishop, I think that's offside. I bloody hope that's offside. York playing them on, I think. If that's not being called. But thankfully, Belshaw's hands are up to the task. And now we're coming forward again. Watkins can receive it. Does receive it. Goes back to Green. Out to Connor York. What can Connor do? Gets the cross in. Capel wins it. Green nods down. Here's Cox. Back to Green. Green shoots. Wasn't expecting that, but Hemming is able to save that one. Still 3-0, though. The longer this stays at 3-0, the better. Throw in for us again now. Connor York finding Watkins. Jake Watkins coming inside. What can he do? Looks to spread the play. Could have been a better pass, though. Banton. And now he's not got anyone coming at him. He finds Connor. Oh, Fairhurst is in. Come on, James. Oh, yes, Belshaw. Great save. I mean, is that the introduction of Luke Jones that cost us that chance? Um, Probably not. Probably more Watkins' poor pass. But Belshaw comes out. And that is the importance of having a good goalkeeper. Well done, James. Well done. Right, the ball's with Torres for them. He finds Palmer, who's into Connor. Now it's around the corner to Wright, who's got some decent stamina for this stage of the game. What a save from Belshaw. Fairhurst, again, isn't able to find the back of the net with a good opportunity. Here's Palmer. He goes about out to Wilden, into right. Right against Connor York. Oh, foul. He almost nipped the ball off him there, unfortunately. It's been, a foul's been given against him. Just before stoppage time here, and Hemming blasts that down the line. Fairhurst gets in front of Plummer, but he's getting back to recover. He forces a rushed pass. Connor is in here. He misses. Surprising that it wasn't offside, to be honest. There have been a few close offside calls, but I don't haven't seen any of them raised. Maybe it's just because they don't show the ones that are. But anyway, Belshaw hitting that long. There can't be much left in the game. Well, there's a minute and a half, to be exact. And I don't see them scoring three goals as they pass it off the pitch. The highlight is continuing, though. York... With the throw, finds Cox, back to York, upfield, no one's getting that, it's Capel nods it down, here is Torres, that should be York's ball, is, and it finds the advantage of Paul Green, here's Watkins, back to Green, looking for Wooten, he can't win it in the air though, and Bishop to Connor, but O'Hanlon is quick to take it off him, but that was a waste of ball, but O'Hanlon is there again. 
Back to Briggs it goes. That is a great ball. It's Unfortunately, it's not got through, and somehow that's offside. I didn't think that was. Anyway, time's almost up. We have a 3-0 lead. I'm not too bothered. Hemming, well up, LS Plummer. He's been very good. I'm glad we decided to bring him in as he makes another good tackle there. And he's been fouled as well by Fairhurst. And, yeah, I mean, we're over the allotted time. I'm expecting the final whistle very soon. Look, one, two, three, four. We've got six players on the last men there. That is, well, I don't know what to make of that. But I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. And the strikers. Impressed with your work up front. It helped us secure the win. And it's what I'm liking, as that has us third place... Goal difference of one just behind Solihull Moors and a goal scored of one just behind Stockport County. I'm surprised Solihull Moors is so far um, up the top. I mean, they um they they're not that Solihull Moors. Let's let's have a look. Just while we're thinking about it, season preview. Solihull Moors were predicted to finish tenth. So yeah, maybe they're just having a good start to the season. Got Plummer. He's there. That's a that who is who is David Fitzpatrick? He plays for United of Manchester. Well, for a newly promoted sign, they've made quite a good signing there, but we've got four promoted sides and just one relegated one. Odd. I mean I guess the other relegation ones must have gone to the um, National League South and the okay, that means we get an extra promoted side, but I am not complaining. Because, wait, hold on. No, two teams went up, three teams went down. That is correct. Yeah, because that means the league is weaker. And that's good. Because it means we have more of a chance of going up. We'll predict to finish sixth, of course. But yeah, always improving. They've got Cox ahead of Green. I'm not sure about that. They want us to play that, um, what is that, the 4-3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we're not looking to play that. All right, that will be it for today's episode. A very, very successful start to the season. Jakey Watkins and pretty much the whole team doing well. Dan Jeffries and Ellis Plummer, the, the defence. What a great start to the season there. Having Connor York as well, Briggs, cannot be forgotten. But yeah, maybe if we get that one striker in, apart from Curry. I mean, what did Curry get? In, what rating did Curry get in this game? Where is he? Where is he? 7.1 well it's not terrible um, what about this game 6.5 yeah I'm not, I'm not convinced of Curry but next episode we have two oh Halifax lost their first game they must have they must have won their second one and moved a bit up the table but two home games Stourbridge who if we don't beat I'd be extremely disappointed but considering our record last season of matches against teams down the bottom of the table that's just come back to me and making me a bit worried but then we've got Halifax Town where at home, we're favourites. They've got a man out injured with a sprained ankle. Um, we should hopefully beat them. Yeah. Who did, who did they beat in the second game of the season? They beat Stourbridge. So, yeah, they managed to beat Stourbridge, but they lost to Boston, who we smacked. So, that hopefully shows that we should win. And, yeah, that would be great. So, hopefully two wins in the next episode. Then we've got Derby Day against New Neaton, plus Darlington, who, of course, we had that... 4-3 match with against last year one of the more exciting matches of the season but the one that we very much should have won and didn't which was a bit disappointing sitting in third going very nicely but that'll be it for today's episode i hope you have enjoyed it if you did please do drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time goodbye